All right, we know that booking an Uber on New Year's Eve will cost you a lot more flying last minute during the holidays, but now that same dynamic pricing concept could be coming to fast food. Dynamic pricing is one of the ideas the CEO and president of Wendy's wants to try next year. Prices will change depending on time of day, so someone coming in to buy a meal during the peak lunchtime hours could be paying more than someone who comes in earlier in the day. So I think it's going to be really important for these organizations to be really transparent about what they're doing and really clear about when these items change. Because you're right, while I may feel like I get a deal, you will feel very upset that you had to pay more than I did, uh, especially if I went back and told you, like, this is a dollar off and you have to pay more. That's Hillary Fussell Cisco, a public relations professor at Quinnipiac University. She says changes like this, if done right, help peak customer interest and get them more engaged. It also helps businesses better understand their menus. The dynamic pricing helps them to understand when they should offer certain items. And I think what we've seen overall, especially in this industry, is a shrinking of menu items, right? We've seen menus get smaller. They used to offer a lot more. And now they're sort of starting to have highlights rather than sort of a plethora of items. But this would help them add in a regular rotation of items. In addition to dynamic pricing, Wendy's is also trying out day part offerings, AI-enabled menu changes, and suggestive selling. Professor Cisco helped us understand each of those strategies, starting with day part offerings, which she says has been around for a long time. Lunch and deli specials has been something that we've had forever. When you have an over inventory of a product, you put it on sale or you make it sort of the thing that, you know, everybody wants to push. And I think this is a way for them to entice new products or maybe even, you know, get people to remember products that they may be not trying. Well, AI-enabled menu changes are something that you've likely already experienced, especially if you've ever been prompted to add a side dish or a drink to your order. It's similar to suggestive selling, which Wendy says could be something they do based on the weather. A hot drink on a rainy day or proposing if I'm Wendy's chilly on a, you know, a day that's cold and blustery. Those are things that maybe are going to have more traction than they would yeah. on a sunny, warm day. And so thinking about the ways in which those elements could be good, you know, I think are going to make sales better. And they're also going to make it feel more personal to the consumer. Personalization is the name of the game right now. According to Forbes, a survey in 2020 found that 58% of top retailers plan to implement a kind of AI pricing technology strategy in the next year. Retailers like Walmart use it to better track customer buying patterns and inventory.